front of the computer. So I guess we're asking you this morning how or if you're tackling recess during this at home learning. Now we understand it's 115 degrees outside, so no recess doesn't. So your recess does not have to mean that it's outside. But how are you taking a break? If at all, send us a text, maybe a picture 602 444 1212. And if you're not doing anything, you're not necessarily alone. According to the shape of the nation, which is a mental and physical health report in America, only 16% of states require recess in elementary schools. And while more and more districts are opting for additional classroom learning in the era of standardized testing, health experts warn that it should not come at the expense of physical activity. It's not just important physically, but also mentally. A study from the National Library of Medicine found eight in nine kids who had a recess period performed better in the classroom. So bottom line, the experts pretty much all agree that it's an important break. So how, if at all, are you handling it in quarantine? Here's what some of you were saying. Jose says, no research, no recess. He takes a two hour lunch. <laughs> OK, yeah, probably good then. A lot of lunch. That's a lot of. What lunch. are you eating for lunch, Jose? That takes two hours. Uh, so keep weighing in for us this morning. I mean, there's this is something that I think a lot of people is. Kind of, it's kind of on the back burner, right? I mean, we're trying to figure out like how to how to learn at this point. So in terms of having recess, maybe that's maybe it's something we should be adding to it. But maybe a lot of people aren't right now. Send us a text 602-444-1212.